guys, it turns out the first half of this video did not record at all, so I'm reshooting this part. Um, you'll see in the middle um, the time of day changes and the cup switches. Don't be concerned about that. Um, it has nothing to do with, with making a latte, but, well, here we go. Alright, the first thing you want to do is make sure your machine has water. So, the tank for my machine comes out, um, and you just want to fill it. Um, my machine has a max line. Um, I just put it there. That's enough water. It, it's not going all the way to the max line, but that's okay. Alright, secondly, you want to make sure all of your materials are clean. Especially if you're making this for someone else. No one else wants to drink things from dirty dishes. So, that's fine. Alright. Next, you want to make sure your machine is plugged in. So, you just want to turn it on. And, as you know, your machine will be ready to serve espresso when the OK button is green. That might take a while because it is room temperature water. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to prepare our espresso puck. Um, I would recommend not using a blade grinder, but we only have a blade grinder. Um, it's not the most adequate tool for the job and it makes most of the grounds uneven. I recommend your ground size be about fine sugar. So I'm going to open this up. My machine leaks, so I'm just going to... So, now we put the coffee into the espresso puck. Alright, so now we're going to tamp the grounds. So my machine has a, t a little tamper thing right here. Um, but tamping makes all the air from the coffee go out and that that lets more water flow in and that's very good for making espresso they make really good professional tampers i'll have like a short video right here that distribute the coffee around and also make it a really flat tamping ground so i took this out of the porta filter and i'm gonna press it up very level you just want to press it until it's flat looks like it's flat that is good all right now i'm using this cup it's just a normal cup um somewhat big cup and i like this cup 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 because you can put a lot of milk in it for frothing it but we're not going to use this cup later in the video um sorry now we're going to make our espresso shot my espresso shot glasses broke but i had measured out what a double espresso shot would be and I know the fill line for that is so we're going to place these under here and we're going to lock this in place. Alright, so the light is green so now we press it. It may take a second for your machine to start, like mine. There it is. I, it looks like I made the grounds pretty even so both of them are coming out at the same rate. Yeah, it's working. Alright, after it's reached the desired height you want it, um, press the espresso button down. Alright, and let it drip for a couple seconds, and then you remove it. That is good. And you just pour it straight into your cup. Um, if you want to sweeten it or whatever, that is good. Alright, so what you need to do, you take your milk jug, Place it under the frother, and then turn on milk frothing mode. When it's ready um, to froth milk, the light that says OK will be on. We're going to purge the machine of its extra water. So we're going to do that by opening the valve. Alright, it looks like we are good. I'm going to dump this out. And it looks like the light is green. Alright. Alright. So you can use half and half, whole milk, almond milk, soy milk, whatever you feel comfortable using. I like using um, the Publix brand half and half because it froths really well. I do note that some milks froth better than others, like half and half froths better than almond milk, and whole milk froths better than half and half. Now you want to decide how much foam or steamed milk you, you want to have. My tip is to never fill the milk frother more than 60%. So I'm just going to pour it right here. That looks pretty good. I'm also going to put a saucer on top of my espresso so it doesn't get too cold. Now we can froth the milk. Put the milk under the frother. 
Now, this is going to be really hard to do one-handed. But we'll open the valve. Put the milk jug under there. All right. So lower the milk so until you get a paper ripping sound. You just want to keep that constant paper ripping sound. All right, looks like my milk is too hot. Sorry about that terrible camera work. I'll try to get another camera angle later. All right, so now you want to tap your milk jug two times to get all the big bubbles. You want to shake your milk jug when you're not pouring it. Speaking of pouring it, now we're going to pour it. Pour it, pour it, pour it. All right, depending on the texture of your milk, you might want to pour it slow or fast. All right. All right, there it is, some frothed milk. If you want to sweeten it, I like doing this. I like putting the honey on top in a spiral pattern and then use a butter knife or some knife sharper to make indents. All right, there it is, some nice tasting coffee. And now you know how to use your DeLonghi espresso machine. Now you want to enjoy your coffee. If you liked watching this these tutorials, let it be known that I will make more soon. Next episode of Nathan's Coffee Tutorials, we're going to make an affogato. Don't know what that is? You'll find out soon. Mm -hmm.